He's out. He's finally out. And I love this animation still. Checking Great fall. 10 out of 10. Confirm the status, of Jakku hospital evacuations. status, complete failure. Devastation on humanity. They don't even know it's coming. Ugh, who even knows at this point what's going to happen? This is it. We have the upper hand. The no, 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 no. No, back. no, no. If they're anything like the one who appeared in Kyushu, then their quirks and physical ability will surpass those of a typical Nomu. It's crazy to think that they're the threat on the radar is the Nomu. They're not complacent, but compared to the actual threat, they just seem ignorant. Exless, deal with oh no, Exless! <laughs> Exless about to be X Life. What was that machine? Don't focus on the machine. Don't go over there. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe it. I can't believe he's awake. I mean, I knew it was going to happen. We all knew it was going to happen. I've been so filled with dread all four episodes so far. I feel like the gloves are off. Shigaraki's about to get real handsy. Shigaraki's about to lend the, the villains a hand or two. Deku, though, not present in the show. I feel like it's setting up for a big showdown between the two of them. Try my shoot shield! <laughs> and this is with its quirks erased. What a tough bastard. This is us having the upper hand. Can't leave Miyako alone. It's amazing she's still standing. You need me to kick her? You need to sit down for a bit. You need to rest. <laughs> Such a cool attack that's just not effective at all right now. Nice! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. He's still going, Gran Torino, after all these years. The hero his whole life. <laughs> Gran Torino just like MVP right now. Immediately. Thanks for your help, but this one's mine! Fire it's so great also seeing Endeavor as the number one hero, like, after all we've been through with him, all his backstory. Is it over? Eraser! It's just the beginning. The, the nightmare is just beginning. Run, x -S what is his name? x <laughs> Not x -Lax. No! I knew it was coming and it still sucks. Oh. God, it's gut-wrenching. It's so quick, too. It's just so quick. It takes nothing. Oh. Jeez, the thrill of destruction. That was one of the most brutal kills despite being half a second long. Get back here! He's what going after him. He's gonna run into Hawks was in that blast. That's far enough. You gotta go. Back. Hurry back to the rear guard. Bring Mushroom Girl, she could just kill anyone. You forgot to pay for your fat taxi ride! And that was the last joke in season six. <laughs> that was the last bit of levity. <laughs> it's over from here on out. Damn, Togami saving Hawks from Dobby. Wings. They're gone. They can grow back though, right? Well, take a good look. Your pal here killed twice. Oh, here it is it's happening. I was worried about this. Twice was just trying to save his friend. Togami so pure-hearted. Well, what are you here to do? These pros you admire play dirtier than me. Better learn that now before you waste your life worshipping them. This is such a ugh, bitter pill. What's so amazing about this season so far is you can see, with some clarity, the darkness of the road ahead. It doesn't make it any less riveting, though. You're just waiting for certain things to happen. Like, I was waiting for Tokami to figure this out or to learn this, but it doesn't make it any less gut-wrenching. Same thing with Shigaraki. I knew X-Lax was a goner, but still horribly disturbing. I think I know the answer for Tokoyami though. I know that initially it's it's going to be crushing because a lot of these kids are putting their faith in the ceiling above them, which is the heroes that they're trying to emulate. And that's just generally speaking a model for growing up. You were born into kind of this abyss of not knowing anything about the world or what's right or wrong. And so you put your, your faith in the existing structure. But I think for, for most people, there comes a point where you realize there's no such thing as like a good class, right? Or like a, a hero class or an adult class. It's all just sort of a, a spectrum of life that starts with childhood. And I think learning that can be terrifying and kind of excruciating because up to that point, you're, you're beliefs, your sense of safety and security and your outlook is based on that kind of categorical labeling. It's a safety net of sorts. And I think that there's a danger in finding out that the world is flawed and that people are flawed in that translating to a sort of giving up on, on goodness or strength. But I think that the answer is rather to remember that feeling as an ideal and then realize that it's your responsibility to become that. And I think that Tokoyami is such a, a great person, such a kind soul, despite his initial disappointment. He will be able to love Hawks and care about him while also sort of detaching from this and not supporting his actions and become a 
a better version of a hero. Because despite, you know, the controversial nature of Hawk's decision, I think that it's pretty clear that in the show, even if it's understandable, there's a higher ideal to be met that will probably be represented by these kids. You know, these kids are the next iteration. There is a clear problem with hero society. That's true. Dobby has points. The villain society has points. It's up to the kids to consolidate the powers that used to be, have love for their enemies and take their points and form a, a hero society that is of their own making and not just reliant on, on tradition and false idols. You're brainwashed. I don't think that's true. He's not brainwashed. No I can't dodge much. At worst, he's just gonna need some time to figure it out. His powers may have some drawbacks, so he's throwing us off guard to stall for time. Does he need to recharge? What's his fuel? Are you okay? He's still now would be a great time for Fat Gums back up. Impact must have knocked him out. My apologies. This is insane. Look at this. Roger. Remember when Giant Lady was sort of a joke? and super image conscious. So much has changed. Back up, back up, back up, or, or? Todoroki? Oh, be, that looks really dangerous and painful. Okay. I was worried for her ass for a second there. You'll suffer before you die. Oh, it's him. He accidentally saved Hawks. I know that you're a good person, Hawks. I believe in you. We all do. Whatever you did was justified. So don't you die. That's a little bit of denial. I don't think that's the final assessment. This, I feel like, might even be controversial, but I think you can recognize that someone's done something horrible and still love them and still think they're a good person overall. I mean, the, the whole bad person, good person thing is kind of just a convenient way of talking about people, but it doesn't really contain full truth, sort of just by definition. There's no such thing as either, right? It's probably more useful to judge the individual actions. We just kind of take a broad survey of what people have done and categorize them one way or the other. But even, you know, the best people do terrible things. And you can even not think someone is a good person on net and still love them. There's a difference between caring for someone and approving of all of their actions. I feel like I've seen this a lot actually with celebrities. You know, people like celebrities, they like their work, they fall in love with them. Somehow that translates into an assumption that they're great people and that they're pinnacles of society. And then when it comes out that they're not, it's like this huge shock and that all their work is invalidated and stuff like that. I think it's maybe somewhat healthy to just assume that people are people and you just don't know what people are like. And the fact that you like someone doesn't mean they're not capable of doing terrible things. And it also doesn't make their work great. That might be a controversial take as well. Someone could be a great actor or a great musician and do terrible things and it's unfortunate, but it doesn't mean they weren't good at what they did and that you can't enjoy their work. I feel like there's so much to be said. It's such a deep field to think about ways in which people combine issues into a singular issue when actually there's a lot of things that are simultaneously true. Hawks could have done so much great things in the world. He could, he could actually be a really wonderful hero. He could be a great mentor. It could be wrong that he backs have twice. Or if you don't want to take it that far, it can be unheroic by definition that the show has set up. Or even more softly stated, it could not be the highest ideal we've set out for heroes. All that's possible simultaneously. It's one of those weird things where getting into the idea is pain, but breaking all the way through is kind of a relief and is beautiful. You know, people are just flawed and that's something to expect. There are none or there are very few perfect people. It's just about ideals, high ideals and striving for those ideals. And that takes place mostly at an individual level. And we can't use other people as replacements for our own responsibility. And even if heroes fail us, it doesn't mean the ideals have failed. It doesn't mean that those ideals can't be acted out. Nothing at the personal level has been lost, except maybe just the pain of updating one's worldview. He's here, he's here. Oh yeah, he's activated now. Gigantomachia. Yes. As if Shigaraki wasn't bad enough on his own. And now they have like a central leader too to follow. Ooh, we get a little Uraraka action. It's been pretty quiet for the students so far this season. They've kind of been on the sidelines. Everyone into the police vans. Move your asses. Thanks for your help. Bakugo great at crowd control. Here, have a chocolate button. Are you crazy? I'm working here. <laughs> Can't even be nice to an old lady, huh? This is nice. This is Bakugo being nice. Yes! I've been missing the hand motions. We'll be certain to protect your important literary contribution. That gave me a lot of what I needed. And that was it for season six of Peaceful Moments and Happiness. It looks like we'll be dying after this last group heads Oh, out. no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Man, almost brings a tear to my eye. Stop him. I knew it. Yeah, no big deal. Just stop the most powerful villain possibly of all time. It will begin Only soon. Deku knows. I don't have much time. This is Deku's biggest test ever. Deku, what's up? And Araka checks on him. A transcendent one approaches. This is just so well done and so horrifying. I'm kind of speechless. I don't know how you fight him. I don't know how you even fight him. You're gonna need to remember a lot more of those past techniques. <gasps> oh, I thought he was doing like long range destruction. Yeah, we need a lot more people who can fly. Suddenly flying is the best quirk. Get out of here! 
Don't touch the cracks! Don't touch anything on the ground ever again. I wonder what the range is for Shigaraki now. This is us having the upper hand. Get off the ground. Get off the ground now. There you go. Oh, the damn Nomu. Get out of there. Oh my god, even the Nomu is getting... I can't believe that just happened. I'm at least relieved it wasn't Aizawa, because I, I would have just died. My heart would have disintegrated or decayed or whatever. It, it could go that far? No, get out, no! Did she just block it? That was incredibly brave. Get out! That's gonna be me the rest of season six, just yelling at people to get out of there. You I can't believe it's this powerful. So much time and effort into planning this I was so severely underestimating this ability, the, the range of this and the extent of this. All of your preparations turned to dust the moment he opened his eyes and literally raw power. We did it! Victory is ours! It doesn't look good, that's for sure. I can, honestly, I can't believe this. I cannot believe that is his power right after waking up too. This doesn't look Get out of here! <laughs> Run! Or fly or something. Everyone run! Wait, Deku. Thank you, Deku. One for all. Rare for Deku to say that, but yes, thank you. You can use your black whips too. He just countered it. Or not. He tried to counter it. Uraraka also super important with the, the flotation. Ice wall. Nice assist. It can't be. Get back, everyone. My feeling exactly. They're doing such a great job making this as terrifying as it possibly could be. Just taking a whole bus with him as he goes. I feel so defeated. How great it must feel to be Shigaraki right now, though. It's probably his greatest moment. It's everything he always wanted. Overhaul wouldn't be happy to see this outcome. Does he have some kind of weakness? Some kind of limiter? Yeah. Does he have some kind of control over him? It wouldn't surprise me at all if Shigaraki ends up still being just a pawn for all for one. I'll destroy everything. That has never been such a credible threat as it is now. Oof. I knew it was going to be bad when he woke up. I didn't realize the extent of it at all. I was severely underestimating how far they would take that. And it's what makes it so scary is that's just the beginning. I mean, he just woke up. This is going to be a, a really extended, protracted war that they're just not ready to fight. I'm realizing now, just watching this episode, who some of the key players might be based on their abilities. I'm guessing Urak is going to play a huge role in this, as are people that can do any kind of levitating or flying. Anyone who can keep their feet off the ground, because people who need to walk or touch anything are basically useless and in danger. Deku's gonna have to learn some flying ability or rely on a lot of other people to keep him going. Or he can just, you know, Spider-Man around with Black Whip. But there's still some of the uh, one for all powers he has not yet unlocked. So it wouldn't surprise me if there's something in there that ends up being a useful counter. Well, I knew that this season would have high stakes. I knew it would be one of the deadliest, most gut-wrenching seasons. But the fact that I anticipated it doesn't make it any less painful <laughs> or terrifying. But, you know, by the same token, just super gripping and exciting. And I'm also really pumped to see that now Shigaraki's out, that mission's over. I suspect we're gonna return to the students a little bit, primarily Deku. And like I said, this is his biggest challenge ever. He's been so great at rising to every challenge and always holding true to his ideals. This is one of the first times, or the first time I can remember, where I actually feel terrified for Deku's ability to even face it. Honestly, as great as he is, as great as his powers are, and as great as his heart is, he's outmatched right now. And I have faith in him just because I know that he's the kind of person that will rise to the challenge. But just speaking right at this moment, he seems so, so vulnerable. And it's kind of painful to think about him in that state as a character that I really love and respect. Thank you.